All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are downtown Cairo, Egypt, and I'm so pumped because today we're gonna be going for a full-on Egyptian street food adventure. Let's check it out. This is it, Cairo, the heart and soul of Egypt. And as soon as you step in, it's like entering a new world full of history, culture, and of course, food. And today, we're going in deep to try five incredible Egyptian street foods in the back alleys of Cairo, with a bonus trip to the one and only world famous Egyptian pyramids. Let's eat. Just look at this guys, downtown Cairo. You can feel the magic in the streets. And today, first up, we're gonna be going to get some full, some breakfast Egyptian street food, fava bean dip with a ton of different spreads, and it's gonna be really good. Let's check it out. And the fool joint is right up here. We're gonna get a hearty fool fava bean dip with some bread, some falafel, and we should be able to eat it right on the street. This is awesome. Look where we are, guys. Downtown Cairo. Assalamu alaikum. Wow. Oh, uh, potato. 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 Potatis. 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 Wow. So we got fried potato patties and falafel. We're gonna start making the falafel. So this is essentially a fava bean spread and we're making it into patties. He's putting some coriander seeds and you can see there's actually some spice in there as well. There's some cilantro. Looks like there's some, some herbs, spices. Oh, patty by patty. Beautiful. Falafel. Oh. Zeta, kofta. Oh, kofta. Kofta. Oh, kofta. Kashia. Kashia. Zeta. Zeta. Amoti. 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 And it's all from falafel. 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 Oh. oh. So it's all different shapes and sizes of falafel here. And there's actually different fillings. Some of them are stuffed with chili. And <laughs> we're going to go try it out. We're going to go in the back and take a look at the fool here, guys. Oh, shukran. Here we go, guys. Oh, this is the fool. Wow, look at that. Full. Full. Cairo full. Cairo full. Cairo full. It's Egypt full. Egypt full. Wow. That's a thick fava bean spread, and we're gonna get that with some bread. And. Oh, olive oil. Okay. Ta tahini. Oh, and we're gonna make the pool here. So we've got olive oil, tahini. Oh, look at that. And it goes with all of these delicious, delicious accompaniments. Shukran. Okay, let's go try it out. <laughs> That's a beautiful platter. And the, the owner here is riding the horse. Wow. Shukran. And we got a full Egyptian breakfast. Shukran. And look at the selection here, guys. Look at this beautiful spread. So we came here for the fool, but there is so much more. Look at this. We've got a tomato, cucumber, cilantro salad. We've got some pickled onions. We've got a baba ganoush, which is cooked eggplant mixed with tahina, olive oil, and various seasonings. You can see some dill. It looks so delicious. We've got some french fries, arugula with lemon. We've got fried potato patties. We've got pickled eggplant with chili. Look at that. You can see some chili, you can see some dill. There's pickled chilies in there. And then the real joy here. Look at this, guys. We have falafel. You can actually see some coriander seeds, some sesame seeds. You can see some herbs. There's some cilantro in there and it's fried. And then all of this can be eaten with the baladi bread. So we're just gonna take a little cat's ear here. And first, we're gonna try what we came here, the fool. And you can actually see the chunks in there of the fava bean. And he puts a ton of canola oil. And, oh, look at that. This is what I dream of here in the streets of Cairo. Look at that. Oh. Oh, wow. That is extremely, extremely healthy feeling. That right there is so powerful. Actually, it's not seasoned, so it does need a little salt. And it's actually a little bitter. It tastes so healthy from the tahini that he puts in there. A little bit of a sesame kick and extremely hearty fava bean. Shukran, shukran. Oh. Mm. So next up, we're gonna take this baladi bread and we're gonna open it and turn it into kind of like a pita. And then we're gonna load it. Look at this, guys. We got a beautiful pickled eggplant covered in a chili sauce. Let's put a couple in there. Oh wow, 
and then some falafel, also made from fava beans. You can see the coriander in there, a little bit of herbs and spices. I think there's some cilantro and dill in there. And then we're gonna put one more. Make it fat, we're gonna make it fat. And then here's the real joy, the tahini. This is essentially like a, a sesame spread with some cumin, some lemon. Oh, it's all on there. That is gonna be, oh, look at that guys, wow. Mmm! Wow, that is such an extremely delicious and satisfying flavor burst. The falafel is crispy. You can taste the fava bean and also the coriander. And then the tahini has this citrusy, lemony kick, and the pickled eggplant is spicy and fragrant. All in that bread, that is everything you need right there. Thank you. This is manikash. Manikash. Wow, thank you. Thank you. That was delicious. Amazing food. Thank you. And we're gonna keep exploring. Next up, before going for the heaviest Egyptian pie, some life-changing Egyptian kushari, and some extreme grilled Egyptian delights, we went for a classic street food in Cairo, the Egyptian shawarma. It's so cool to be here in downtown Cairo. Look at this, guys. And next up, right up ahead, we're gonna go get some big, plump, shawarma bun, Egyptian style shawarma buns. Let's go check it out. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, shawarma. Look at this guys. So we just found the beautiful Egyptian shawarma here. And you can see we're chopping up tomato. Tomato, garlic, onion. Oh, and it's just rotating and the fat is bursting. Oh, oh, layers with the fat and uh, oh I can't wait to try one of these beauties out and it's also vinegar vinegar so it should be a little sour wow that is shawarma heaven and they load it into a plump bun plump buns and this the fat is just gonna soak into there wow and you can really smell that charry fatty goodness. Oh, that is pure fatty beef delight. That is true <laughs> meat joy. But this was just the beginning. This whole messy, meaty pile of joy got even better when they added on a ton of coriander and parsley mix and their secret baba ganoush. Egyptian. Oh. And look at that pure meaty mixture, fatty, with all the cilantro and coriander. That is beautiful. Absolutely incredible. Oh, thank you. Awesome guys, look at that beauty. Shawarma bun in Cairo, Egyptian shawarma bun. Mmm. Oh, that is so plump and fatty. Wow. That is so plump and fatty. You can really taste the fat infused into the beef. You can really taste the tomato, and it's also a little sour. I think there's definitely a little vinegar in there. It is so, <laughs> oh, this is so tasty. Plump, beautiful shawarma buns in Cairo. And after ordering a signature Egyptian mango shake made with probably the best mangoes in the world, we made our way for the next street food, the famously delicious and super heavy Egyptian pies at El Sultan. Awesome guys, right up ahead. Next up, we're gonna try a classic Egyptian pie, the fatir. It is gonna be cheesy and delicious and gooey, and I can't wait to try it. Should just be right up ahead, let's go check it out. Here we are, guys. Egyptian pie heaven, and we're going in. We already asked permission, so we're gonna, we're gonna take a look here and see how they make them. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Hey. Oh, so this is the pie. The pie. Uh, oh, the pie, look at this. Oh, so you can actually get a ton of different pies here. Looks kind of like an Indian roti bread. They're spreading it out and you can get it with a different selection of meats and cheese and it's gonna be really good. So you can see we're gonna load the custard on, but this isn't what we're gonna get. We're gonna get actually the, the heavy cheese 
delight. And this is ours right here, guys. Look at this, flipping the roti action. It's beautiful. And he's gonna spread it out thin and load it up. We ordered cheese, beef, pastrami, sausage. It's gonna be heavy, delicious delight. Look at that skill. You can see down here all of the ingredients. So we've got cheese, look at that mountain. Oh. We're gonna add salami on, so it's kind of like a pizza. And then we're adding on beef sausage here as well. Look at that. And then we've just got some kiri cheese here as well. Look at that. This is gonna be heavy and cheesy. This looks awesome. So we've got cheese, mozzarella, pastrami, everything. Salami. Oh, kiri cheese. Oh, and we're just gonna put a little olives in here too. Look at that. And we've got tomato, olive, green pepper. Look at the color in there. That is full on. And now, we're just gonna fold it over. Oh, it's beautiful. That looks so good. And it's just like a, a, a square pie, full of cheese and meat and pastrami. Look at that. Wow, there it is. That's heavy, and it's going right in the oven. And after baking for a few minutes and hanging out with the masters, we put even more cheese on top. <laughs> this is a, a pie party, and we're loading up more cheese on top of our pie here. Look at that. Wow, we're loading up tons of mozzarella cheese on top of our pie. The pie is ready. Wow. Look at that. Wow, that is extremely cheesy, bubbling and full of meat and delicious sausage. Wow, it's ready. Awesome. Shukran, shukran. Look at this, guys. Absolute cheesy, delicious, meaty joy. And we're gonna try it out. Look at how thick that is. It is absolutely cheesy. Oh, look at that. Look at the sausage, the olive the tomato, the, so the, the pastrami, oh, the salami. Look at all the cheese on top too. He added a ton of cheese. And the dough itself is absolutely saturated with oil. My fingers are just covered in that cheesy goodness. And the bottom, look at that. It looks crispy and a little brown from the, from the pan. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> whoa. Oh, whoa. That is extreme, extreme pizza. Ultimate, ultimate, greasy, heavy, sloppy joy right here. You've got so much cheese, so much pastrami and sausage, which in itself is so fragrant. This right here is worth flying into Cairo for. And I thought I knew what heavy was until I tried this. This is the definition of extreme heavy goodness. That was so delicious. Wow, so heavy. Shukran, thank you. And next up, before our final meal, where we were served by the prince himself at the prince restaurant, we made our way to the number one most famous Egyptian street food, Kushari. Awesome, guys. Next up, we're going to try a traditional Egyptian street food, the Kushari, right here at Kushari Abu Tarek. Kind of like Egyptian pasta, rice, lentils. It's got chickpeas, it's got tomato sauce, and it's going to be really good. Look what we got here, guys. Guys, kushari heaven. And you can see we're pouring in this mixed pasta into this pot. Oh, and we're gonna go. We actually just asked permission. They're gonna let us in to take a look and we're gonna try it out. Oh, here we go. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Here we go, guys. Look at this, guys. We just found kushari heaven. So we've got fried onions, we've got a tomato sauce. Oh yeah, they're scooping it up. And the base is over here. This is the kushari mixture. We got rice, pasta, lentils, and over here, there's more different varieties of pasta. They mix those together. And then we've got lentils and chickpeas down here, and then pasta sauce. And you can see it's just like a production line here. Beautiful. That is amazing. And this is Egyptian Cairo special. Look at the tomato. Beautiful. 
This is the moment, guys. We're gonna try real Egyptian kushari. This is it. We're going upstairs to kushari heaven. Oh, shukran. Wow, we got a full on beautiful kushari here in Cairo. Look at this, guys. You can see they cover the top in a ton of lentils and chickpeas, and then they serve you a beautiful steaming hot tomato sauce some fried onions and some chickpeas. And then they also serve you this da'a, which is lemon, vinegar, garlic, cumin, and maybe a little bit of chili in there as well. Dip, and then, of course, chili oil and some seasoning. And we're just gonna pour that beautiful, look at that, oh, steaming hot tomato sauce all over that pasta. Some of this beautiful boiled chickpea. Oh yeah, this is where the soul is. This is the heart. This is the energy. This is what life's about. Fried onions. Awesome, guys. And then a little bit of lime on there. Some of this beautiful vinegar, lemon, just a little touch. There we go. And of course, a touch of chili. Now this is supposed to be really spicy. So we're just gonna add a little in and mix it up. Look at that, mixing up all that pasta, all those lentils, the rice, the fried onions. As soon as you walk in to this kushari place, you can smell the tomato sauce and the fried onions. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Oh. This kushari abutak. Kushari abutak. Number one. Delicious. Oh. Delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Number one. Thank you. Thank you very much. That is amazing. It's all about the fried onions, the tomato fragrance, a little bit of citrus and chili combined, and all of the protein from the lentils and the chickpeas. And for our final meal, we went to the one and only Prince restaurant with tons of tables sprawled out onto the street and where you can try almost all the famous Egyptian grilled foods in one spot. But first, we made our way out to check out the one and only pyramids. And look where we are, guys. This is the one and only Nile River. Absolutely beautiful. Downtown Cairo. And today, before going for more food, we are gonna go to the one and only Pyramids. Let's check it out. And after a quick ride to the outskirts of Cairo, you find yourself in the most beautiful complex of pyramids that you can marvel at the size and beauty of. You can choose to ride a camel if you like for about three or four dollars, but we decided to walk around a bit under the sun and then head for the big feast. Just look at where we are, guys. Beautiful Egyptian pyramids all around us. We've got so many pyramids here, and see there's the, uh, the Sphinx over there. It's all here. This is absolutely amazing. But we had some serious meat to eat, so we made our way back to town for the Egyptian grill of your dreams. Look what we got here, guys. Egyptian meat paradise. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got grilled beef. Oh yes, and this is just one of the grills here. And before we knew it, the prince himself came out to greet us and show us the best food, starting with some nice spiced grilled lamb. Lemon, lemon, lemon. Wow, this is gonna be really good. Oh, and look at that. Oh, tomato. Tomato, onion, chili. Oh, lots Bilbin. of chili in there. Pepper. Mal. Oh, oh, this is amazing. Spicy. 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 Oh. oh, this is just incredible. Oh, wow. Living, living. Living. Canada, Canada, Canada. <laughs> this must be the liver. Kipta. 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 Look at all this grilled liver here. That is a fun. Oh, and chili. Look at that. That's too much. Spicy. Spice. Spicy. Spicy. Wow. Wow. Levin. <laughs> Kebda. 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 The Kebda. The Kebda. Kebda. The Prince Kebda. Kebda. Come on here. Come and we're going to keep on going. On <laughs> now look yeah. at this. Look at all these sausages. All the tomato aroma. Wow. Good. 
the special Egyptian sausages. Okay, and we're, we're, we're moving still. And next, the prince brought us to see the most classic Egyptian food of all, the molokia, made with the infamously slimy tossa jute leaves and covered in a sauteed garlic onion mixture. Wow, this is incredible. So it's a dark green vegetable here oh. in Egypt. Oh, and it's covered in Molokia. fried onions. Molokia. <laughs> it's awesome. So we're gonna get the famous Molokia here. This is made with dark green wow, Molokia leaves. Oh, and onions. Molokia. Molokia. Canada, Canada. Canada. <laughs> oh, and it goes right into that pot. Look at that. Amazing. Shukran. Thank you. Oh, this is a... Oh. Oh, and that's the liver. Liver. Oh, amazing. Oh, and the grilled meat. Oh, the grilled lamb. This. Look at this face we got here. Thank you. Oh, and rice. Molokia. Oh, on the rice. And try. Oh. oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That is incredible. That Molokia. It just tastes like a... It tastes like a dark green vegetable with the fragrance of onion and the smoothness and the sweetness of the rice. Oh, that is delicious. And we got big chunks of lamb and sausages. <laughs> oh, tahini. Tahina. Tahina. Oh, thank you. Mm. Oh. Oh, wow. That is so juicy. Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada. This is just the most beautiful meal and we're so lucky to be hanging with the prince here and just trying a few of those dishes. They're all absolutely perfect. For here they gave us a whole rack of baladi bread. This is special Egyptian bread and it's just so wholesome and full of nutrients. The prince served us an insane amount of food to go with the bread, like Egyptian cheese with tomato, grilled liver, rice with mini pasta noodles to go with the molokia, sausage with tomato and chili, grilled lamb, grilled beef in tomato, onion and chili, tahini, eggplant, and a tomato cucumber salad. Now we're gonna take the molokia and pour it all over that rice. Look at that. Oh, that is slimy goodness. Seasoned so well with that dark green molokia. Super slimy. Look at that. Mm, oh, that is slimy. Satisfaction. Oh. Let's see what's in there. Oh, look at that. That is the beef and onion and tomato right off the grill. That smells so heavenly. Prince just keeps bringing us all these surprises. Let's try it out. Oh, oh wow, that is so juicy and aromatic. Look at this. It actually tastes a bit like a Chinese pepper steak that you get in the West, except with tomato. And after eating as much as we could, we said goodbye to the incredibly friendly Prince. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you bye. next time. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> Amazing here at the Prince. Thank you. <laughs> it has been a wonderful time in Cairo. I would love to know what you guys thought about this video in the comments below. Please click that subscribe and little bell notification button so you don't miss any of these street food tours. And check out our Thai Haula and Travel Eat Repeat merch in the description below. Thanks so much for watching, guys.